Hi, having previously made a video about one particular or one or two particular accessories I use on the Ricoh GR, I thought I'd make a follow up video just talking through all of the accessories I have for it. So I've dug them all out and assessing whether or not I think they're worthwhile because certainly some of the accessories I've got for this camera I'm not convinced they are worthwhile really and I probably in retrospect I could probably save myself some money so obviously first things first the strap on the camera um, I can't even remember if this is a genuine uh, Rico item or not but having one of these kind of little wrist strap type things it does give me a little bit of peace of mind when I'm walking about that I'm not going to drop the thing and um, have it hit the deck so I think that is a good accessory I would always recommend having something like that there is a second strap lug at the bottom of the body there so you can have um, you know, a traditional type strap to chuck it around your neck if you want to, um, but it would hang you know, that way, which I'm not really, uh, that's not really for me. So I tend to slip it either into a pocket or into a small camera bag when I'm carrying it around. Now the accessory I'd spoken of on a previous video is this metal cap, which I think is a great idea for protecting the front of the camera and for keeping potentially for keeping dust off it as well. And I leave the ring, the, the, the ring that goes around the lens, I leave it embedded in the metal cap. So I just pop the cap on like so and twist and clips it into place. One accessory that I got with the camera when I bought it, which I wouldn't have bought myself, um, they sell these little, those little rings, they sell them in different colours, um, strangely. So, sort of, you can buy some limited edition, limited edition type things. So, I think it just, um, yeah, makes the camera look funky. Um, I'm not sure what sort of purpose it serves, really. Yeah, it does look quite nice, I suppose, but it's not for me, really. Um, a nice thing, but, yeah, I'll stick with the black on black so that's an accessory um, I've got a battery here um, I don't consider that an, uh, an accessory more of an essential separate battery as you can see the batteries on this are really quite small seem to last a reasonable amount of time but a spare is I would say is, is an, es an essential one of the other pieces of kit that I talked about on the other video was the GH3, which is a tube which fits onto the camera. Um, again, I use it as a dust preventative because you can switch the camera on with that in place with a filter on it. Um, you can also, and the the real purpose for this for this tube is for fitting the accessory macro and I think there's a telly one as well so you can fit these accessory lenses like so to give you a 21 mil effective um, field of view uh, I don't know what the telephoto one is I haven't got that um, I'm not really a telephoto -y person so I only bought the one again I buy all my kits second hand pretty much so yeah I bought this second hand um, I don't know if they come up very often but when they do you know you have to snap these things up do I think it was worthwhile it's a very good question because I have actually hardly used it um, so was it money well spent well I didn't pay much for it I don't think I think I paid about 40 pounds for it um, so it's probably for me it is worthwhile having it. I've used it a few times, but probably not enough to give me real value for money. So, yeah, it depends whether you think you're going to need that extra wide angle or not. Um, it's a nice to have. It is quite heavy. It's a chunky piece of glass, so it's quite a lot to carry around. Um, 
and you know it's kind of not in the ethos of the camera in some ways because really you know being pocketable does make this a take it anywhere camera so mm, worthwhile well i like to have it with me sometimes but often i don't use it so not sure on that one one thing one accessory i can say probably almost certainly isn't worthwhile for me is the accessory viewfinder the uh, gv1 um yeah look at that i've left the hot shoe cover in place so this just fits into the hot shoe it's not electronic in any way but it does does have um, frame lines in there um, bright lines so you can just put the camera up to your eye to use it i don't think i've ever used it to be honest one of those things where um seemed like a good idea but again if i hadn't got it at a good price i wouldn't buy it again um it's just um seemed like a good idea like i say but i've not actually used it i don't think again it's just something else to carry around isn't it and um it's quite small easily lost um i just don't think it's needed on this camera to be honest even though the screen isn't um isn't isn't you know isn't uh, tilting or anything like that uh, i don't think the viewfinder adds a lot to the functionality the accessory viewfinder so um that's probably not worthwhile for me when i bought the camera i got this little case came with it um so i got a magnetic clip rather than a physical clip um and I do use this because the camera, even with my metal cap on it, fits in there reasonably well. Um, and I, I have used this for dropping it into a bag or um, uh, if I go running, you can carry the thing you know, quite sensibly in your hand um, without fear of dropping it. Or something like that it actually fits better without the metal cap and when i go running i don't take the cap i just take take the camera like that i figure that's protection enough um so yeah that that i think is is worthwhile they're probably quite expensive the um you know with the gr moniker on them they're probably quite expensive i would guess but uh, I'm not sure because i got that one it came with the camera if I'm actually going to, um, if I think the camera is likely to be you know, knocked about or something like that, I do use one of these zipped sort of hard shell cases because, again, the camera fits quite nicely into that sort of thing. Yeah, and it um, fits in there and zips up really neatly. Um, and that, those, I think these things give um, better protection generally the most types of case because they've got quite a hard shell on them i think that's it that's all the accessories so it's a mixed bag really some of them are probably worthwhile some of them are not hopefully i didn't mention the standard size 49 mil uh, polarizer which you can use on the front of the um, front of the gh3 extension um Obviously, it's always good, I think, to have a pol have the option of a polarizer, uh, just in case you need it. Again, don't use it that often, but I have used it. So that's all the accessories that I have. Um, and hopefully it's given you some idea about which ones might or might not be useful. Certainly, that's, that, that's, those are my findings on what I found useful and not, so it could save some money. Um, they're all nice things to have. They're all well-made, quality pieces of kit, but not all essential by any means.